Welcome to Atlas Insurance's Safety and Claims Management Webinar Series. We're excited about kicking off our new webinar series with today's topic, COVID-19, An Employer's Guide to Reopening the New Norm. Employers are starting to see a number of resources that are starting to come in in regards to reopening. But what Atlas Insurance wanted to provide you is a more detailed approach when returning back to work. It'll be vital for every employer to create a formal approach to COVID-19 and your return to work efforts, whether it's creating awareness within your organization, educating your employees on your specific procedures, and even more importantly, is holding individuals or employees accountable to follow your policy. You know, these are areas that are gonna be critical to reduce and minimize the spread of COVID-19 when you reopen. My name is Vincent Mio, I'm from Atlas Insurance Agency. I've been with the agency for over 20 years now, currently responsible for organizational management and client consulting services, which includes the risk and claims units. Over the years, I've been I've been able to help many businesses in the state of Hawaii in designing and implementing their safety and risk management programs. Atlas Insurance has one of the largest consulting groups in the state of Hawaii, and we have experts in all industries. In addition, we have a former OSHA inspector where we can assist clients with OSHA compliance. You know, this is really so that we can provide value added services to our clients so that they can get the best resources to them locally. With me today is Joy Baruso, who is a risk consultant with Atlas Insurance. Joy brings a number of years of experience within the human resources operations and retail industries. More importantly, Joy is bringing experience with COVID-19. He has been our Atlas resource for our clients since the time the pandemic has started. During the presentation, I want you to think about some of these questions. What has your company learned in regards to COVID-19? What are the opportunities that exist so that you can start creating the new norm for your company. You know, Atlas Insurance Agency wants to provide you with the resources necessary to help you formalize your approach. This is basically the first step in the process in creating a policy and procedure that will help your business return back to work. You need this policy and procedure in place so that employees have something to follow but more importantly, employees have a responsibility to follow your policy and procedure and that you can hold them accountable to follow this. In the end, you as a company are responsible for the safety of the work environment. And as Vince has mentioned, uh, those questions to consider are definitely top of mind. And as you consider those questions, you also consider the work challenges as your employees return to work. Social distancing. How are we going to separate our employees to be six feet apart, whether it's their desk furniture, whether it's break rooms, uh, whether it's restrooms? Um, is it even possible, right? The line of work that we're in, can we even separate them? Uh, what about those employees who might have chronic health conditions? Can we allow them to continue working from home? Is that an, even an option? Absenteeism. As we know, a lot of our services are connected and interconnected. So childcare, right, might be an issue or transportation. Bring employees back too early. Do we have the right protocols in play? Do we have the right controls in play to try to protect our employees? And then you ask, well, are employees comfortable with returning to work? And I think that's where having a guide that's transparent and leadership that can communicate this message to the employees 
is really critical. And the exposure to COVID-19 as a whole is certainly something that is the responsibility of an employer and the responsibility of an employee, because we know that folks can walk around asymptomatic. So what are we gonna do to try to mitigate the risk of exposing our employees to COVID? When we talk about facing challenges, we also want to discuss what is happening outside of Hawaii. So what are the US recovery efforts as we know it? We do know that some states have partially opened, some states are beginning to open, and some are still shut down or restricted, like Hawaii. At the beginning of early May, when they started reopening some of these states, we saw a surge of new cases, for example. Uh, May 5th to May 6th, there was 20,000 new cases, and May 6th, it would jump up to 25,000 new cases. So that surge increase certainly doesn't help. Actually, it's very worrisome as people began to travel. And so some of the issues with the increase of new cases had to deal with testing, uh, disjointed services such as childcare and education bodies, uh, inconsistent reopening of states and counties and cities. Businesses and travel had their own set of guidelines and so it caused confusion. And there are some major industries that have been hit enormously by this pandemic. Retail, food and beverage, transportation, hospitality, manufacturing, just to name a few. And along with that, you have the upward trends of unemployment, which researchers and studies show might reach up approximately 20% by the end of the year. And as some industries begin to open, some states begin to open, the tourism industry for Hawaii will affect us. And studies are showing that return to normal business for tourism won't begin to happen until end of the year or even next year, at the earliest, if ever. All across the United States, you're starting to see businesses reopen. And uh, I think what the federal government did was uh, place the liability uh, onto the states uh, to reopen. And when that happens, uh, every state is going to uh, be different as far as how they handle and when they open up uh, the businesses. It, you know, the key is going to be flattening the curve and controlling any new cases. You know, we, we want to make sure that we continue on the downward trend. We've been doing great. But as we start to open up businesses, and if we don't have controls in place, uh, we're going to see uh, that downward trend to change. Uh, we've even seen terminology change over the last few weeks. And uh, the, the mayor has changed uh, uh, some of the wording. Now it's, you know, we're calling it stay in shelter. And, and stay in shelter is a little bit more broader, uh, a little bit more looser as far as what businesses and individuals can do. Um, but uh, again, it, it's going to be up to your business to really control and minimize the exposure of COVID-19. Uh, you, you know, it's very important for businesses to get uh, back to work. Uh, but more importantly is to have that formal approach uh, when coming back to work so that you can control and minimize your exposure. And, and this slide, basically uh, from the city and county of Honolulu, uh, just demonstrates how they've been following the reopening of businesses. As you can see, you have from low risk to high risk. Right now, we're kind of right in the middle of opening up retail with a modified approach. And so uh, as the weeks progress and as the downward trend uh, continues, you'll start to see the more higher risk industries uh, open up. 